a bit of the player. Can you sum that up? What kind of player was Wallace, man? Uh, probably uh, John McLean uh, would sum it up probably better than I would. Um, when I was uh, early in my career, I decided that I wasn't going to be that clever as a player. It's quite obvious when the manager never picked you. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I was a great deal of for you. And he jumped. Uh, I was 28 and I, I got a pelvic injury and I had passed my coaching badges when I was 23. And, I, did, I took the S form training at, at Dundee United and uh, at that time schoolboy training uh, and I took that and I was always interested in the kind of coaching bit and um, when I, I was out I was out for a year and during that period of time he asked me to help him he never had a coach at the time he just did it on his own and he asked me to help him and um, after helping him for a wee while um, I was fit to come back and play and he said to me uh, We've we'll got a wee problem. Uh, I said, what, what was that? And he wasn't known for his humour, we jumped, so he was perfectly serious. He says, you're shite. <laughs> <laughs> he says, but um, <laughs> you're actually far better at the coaching um, than you are at the training. So he says, would you, would you help me out um, by, by becoming my coach? So I became his coach and then uh, a few months later he, he made me assistant manager and uh, but being we John, uh, kind of dual purpose, I played right up to it was 35 but for the first team only in emergencies the rest of the time for our reserves and that so I would I would say that his summation was probably just a bit right. <laughs> I think when you look at your uh, career uh, do a wee bit of research and try to remember everywhere that you've been, been through all the figures in Scottish football. Doc Steen was one early on, you know, you work for the younger teams like the Scotland under 18s, under 21s. Give us an idea of what it was like to kind of work in, in that kind of environment with someone like Steen. Um, obviously at that, at that time, um, Alec Ferguson, John McLean and others uh, was the kind of newer breeder of football managers and, uh, you know, Doc Steen was a was a godfather of a uh, of, uh, of football. He, was, he had a, um, a terrific aura about him, Jock. Um, and I, I was only starting out, so um, I went with Andy Roxburgh for the Scottish youth team for a good few years. And um, Ricky McFarland used to take the Scottish under 21 team. And he had just became the manager of St. Norman, so he couldn't do it. And Jock said to me, uh, he phoned me up at the house and said, uh, this is Jock Steen. Oh, Jesus Christ. He's <laughs> 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 he phoning me, what's he phoning me for? I said, uh, you know, I'd like you to come and meet me. I was shitting myself, you know. <laughs> <laughs> he, 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 down you go and uh, meet him. And he says, I'd like you to take me on the 21s. I've only got three games left at our, at our section, but I would like you to do that. And uh, So I said, I'm fine. The first game was against Spain at, at, at Dens. We got beat. And uh, the next game we had to go to Iceland um, at the end of their season and a lot of the players had called off and there was everything like that. But I was travelling on a plane with the first team they were going up as well. And here was Jock Steen and Alec Ferguson and <laughs> <laughs> I was now sitting there waiting under 21s. It was uh, a wee bit intimidating uh, going with them. But uh, he then asked me to, um, to go to Mexico in the World Cup. Um, and he said, that if we if we qualify, I'm going to change the way we did it from the previous time in Spain. And I'm going to get Alec and yourself to do most of the, the, the football training and everything. And I'm just going to make sure that I do all the rest of the things. But uh, unfortunately, as we all know, he passed away that night in, uh, in Wales. And, uh, and then so Alec asked me to, to go. But um, I think Jock Steen was, uh, and for me, has been the, the most successful, um, you know, Scottish manager. You know, to take to take a team like Celtic, and uh, I know Alec Ferguson. If, he's, if I'm talking about Scottish teams, uh, you know, overall, if, if, if Alec, you know, had stayed at Aberdeen or had he gone to Rangers or Celtic, would he have had the same success as um, as Jock? You don't know. He's a fantastic manager, Alec. That's, but um, Jock Steen to take a team of eleven boys, you know, basically. An area of Scotland and, and going to win a European Cup was uh, 
was a fantastic uh, achievement. I don't think one that could be, be better than any. And uh, I certainly, I, you can't see in the future that a Scottish team's, unless there's a remarkable change in European football, are going to ever do what he did. And, uh, you know, he's fantastic and he's, uh, for me, um, was the best of the, 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 the and I'll qualify this by saying he's the best of the Scottish managers that were there. Sir Alec, obviously, um, for me, he's probably been one of the best managers ever. Um, I had to go and, uh, to achieve that, you have to move away from Scotland, I'm afraid. And, and Jock Steen did that, um, did all his stuff um, within Scotland. So, um, it was just great, even though it was a short period of time, I didn't really get in, but it was just great to actually um, sit down and have a cup of tea mm -hmm. um, with somebody like that. Mm -hmm. okay, that's cool.